welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflection based on the Open Heaven Guide written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Iye Adibuyi. My name is Lola Ayeni. I'm a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Today's Open Heavens topic we're looking at, He is Wonderful. The Bible passage we'll be reading is Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The memory verse for today is Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Our reflections. An essential commodity in our world today is peace. Yet, it is one of the scarce things. The Bible told us in the book of Isaiah that the name of Jesus is wonderful. What does this mean in our world today? Let's consider what is happening in most parts of the world. There is intense conflagration all over the place. Terrorist activities are holding sway in many parts of the world. And it appears that it is not abating. How then can we experience this peace? Jesus demonstrated that his name is wonderful. Through what he did to the wind and the sea, in the most of the gospel in the Bible. Matthew 8, 23 to 27 reads, Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are. But he said to them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So the men marveled saying, who can this be that even the winds and the sea obey him? The people marveled and wondered, but apparently they forgot that his name is wonderful. Jesus himself told the people in John 14, verse 27, that the peace that he gives to us is one that the world cannot understand or comprehend. Imagine how Jesus could sleep comfortably when they were heavy, having the turmoil on the sea. We too can also experience inexplicable peace in the midst of turmoil if we put our trust and confidence in the one who is called the wonderful. In every situation, his grace is always be sufficient for us. His grace is inexhaustible. Equally is the joy that he gives to us. It is eternal joy, which is not dependent on the value of what we have. However, Remember that all of the above can only operate in our lives if we fail to surrender ourselves and our lives to him. As we know, two masters cannot operate in the same boat at the same time. The power that was given to him has also been given to us. According to him in Matthew 28 verse 18, he told the disciples that all the power in heaven and on the earth has been given to him and the same power he has also given to us to do what he was able to do and greater works he said he, we will do as he went back to his father. Now our prayer point for today. Father, come and perform your wonders in every area of my life. And I pray as you call unto him, the one who is wonderful, we show you that power in Jesus' name. Have a nice day. God bless you.